Welcome to this demonstration of Mental Graphics Vista and Codebench Virtual Edition tools. Here is the block diagram of a design showing several components from the Vista model library. The platform consists of a single core Cortex A9 processor, three memories, an LCD peripheral, all of which are connected to an AXI bus. Two custom components complete the system. The custom GPU model can perform two operations. Firstly, it can clear an area of memory. It has registers which specify the start address and the region size of the memory to be cleared. Secondly, it can draw a triangle. It has registers which specify the screen buffer address, the three points of a triangle, and a particular drawing style. The custom control model can only perform one operation, which is to halt the platform. This is triggered when the sysstop register is written to. Vista is used to debug the models, optimize time and power usage, and validate that the platform is functioning correctly. When the platform is complete, Vista can create a standalone executable binary file, which is called a virtual prototype. This can be generated to run on Linux or Windows. The virtual prototype is configured using a parameters file. The address map is defined here, along with clock speeds, software image files, and other configurable items. For example, the LCD can be configured to refresh every 50 milliseconds, and the low memory address can be set to address zero. Software can be developed within Codebench Virtual Edition to run directly on the Vista Virtual Prototype. In this demonstration, we have a bare metal application that draws graphics onto the LCD using the software implementation of OpenGL. To debug the software, a connection to the virtual platform using a GDB port can be enabled within the parameters file. Codebench Virtual Edition provides all the standard software debug capabilities, as well as extra facilities that are only possible when working with the virtual platform. For example, breakpoints can be set, and the code can be stepped over. While it's running, the software can be suspended to examine the current function stack. The virtual platform provides semi-hosting operations, including the ability to print information directly to the host console. The memory contents of the virtual platform is available for inspection. The disassembly can be examined. We can also see the registers of the processor. One advantage of debugging using a virtual prototype over real hardware is that the registers that exist within the platform are also visible. Codebench Virtual Edition includes the Sorcery Analyzer tool to help optimize the system. In this example, within the software code, the swap buffers function gets called once every frame. If this function is traced to record how often it is called, the performance of the software can be visualized in frames per second. To enable profiling within the virtual platform, a trace script can be configured. Another advantage of using a virtual platform is that everything within the trace script is non-intrusive, meaning that the analysis will not impact the results. In this example, our trace script enables tracing on every function call in order to see which are the most expensive. C code can be injected at any point within the software. For example, extra code is injected as the swap buffers function is entered. The first part of the injected code checks to see whether three seconds of simulation time have passed, and if so, the sysholt register is written to to stop the platform. The second part is responsible for populating the trace file with data to track each time that the function is being called. Executing the virtual prototype with the trace script enabled will produce profiling data for three seconds of simulated time. A new session can be created within Sorcery Analyzer and the profiling data imported into it. The function rate agent uses the data that we generated from the injected code to visualize how many times per second the function is called. This effectively shows us the frames per second. The function call statistics agent can be used to determine the amount of time spent in each function within the software. This visual analysis provides insight on how to improve the performance of the overall system. The most expensive function is the triangle drawing routine. The third most expensive function is one that clears a region of memory. The performance can be improved by modifying the software code to use the GPU that is available within the virtual prototype. 
The triangle draw C code function can be changed to instruct the GPU to draw the triangle by accessing the hardware registers within the GPU. Likewise, the clear function can access the GPU registers to clear a range of memory. After analysis using the GPU enabled software image, we can see a dramatic improvement in the performance. The rate has increased to 12 frames per second. Learn more about Mental Graphics embedded software, platforms, tools and services at mental.com embedded.